Yeah, Mark and Joyce, the West Seattle Bridge's failure prompted a citywide audit. You know, that bridge was considered in fair condition before it was closed. Where we're standing right now, the Magnolia Bridge is considered to be, based on that audit, poor condition, worse off. And it has now prompted the city to try and find emergency funding for a fix. Simon and Garfunkel once played the U District and sang about a bridge over troubled water. Well, the water isn't the issue here now. It's 100 years old, that's right. And it's, a, it's also a bridge that opens and closes for, for ship traffic. Seattle Council Member Alex Peterson says the University Bridge is in poor condition and in need of replacing aging, movable parts. If you were just to replace the components that help these bridges open and close, this is the University Bridge, the Ballard Bridge, Fremont Bridge. That's only about $10 million. That's why he's now floating an amendment along with his colleagues to get a bridge boost. It would involve using the $20 vehicle license fee approved last year to finance $100 million in bonds for immediate spending to fix aging bridges, sidewalks, and streets. Money that could also be used, he says, for seismic retrofits of other spans and to help leverage for federal dollars from the major infrastructure bill being discussed in Congress. A lot of the detail work is going to happen in our committees. Yet Medina Democrat Susan Del Bene, who represents the North Sound's first district and sits on the House Ways and Means Committee, told King 5 today there is no guarantee. We all know the needs for roads and bridges in our region but also think of rural broadband, right? My district, we have places, or technology hub, and yet there are parts of my district that don't have rural broadband or even good cell service. Um, the need for energy and water infrastructure for ha affordable housing. Past city leadership has neglected these bridges. Uh, we need to start reinvesting more in these bridges. Peterson says DC's time frame also shows the city can't wait around to avoid singing another sad tune. This is the time to do it about its infrastructure. Yeah, what we're really talking about here is deferred maintenance items not covered by the move Seattle levy a few years ago. There was a committee hearing on this today. Peterson believes with a majority of the council backing this idea that the money could be in place by 2022. That is the story for now as we know it live on the Magnolia Bridge. I'm Chris Daniels, King 5.